Feud asked 100 people, what is your favorite lipstick color? Let's be real. The number one answer on the board would probably be Pinky Nude. Pinky Nude, that perfect your lips but better, your lips but pinker shade that so many of us spend our lives searching for. I cannot count how many times I have gone and searched for the perfect Pinky Nude. So when I went through my lipstick collection, I was not surprised to find that I had at least 60 lipsticks that could be classified as Pinky Nude. Today, I'm sharing with you the top 11, the best of the best. There are drugstore and luxury lipsticks in here, and there is a perfect pinky nude for anyone that's around my skin tone. If you're like me and you think it's perfectly normal to have almost 100 of the same shade of lipstick, well then be sure to hit that subscribe button because I am here every week sharing my beauty habit with you. Let's dive in. Let's start with one of my absolute favorites, the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Voluptu Shine Lipstick Balm and number 44, Nude Lavalier. For $38, you get this pinkish brown, hydrating, high shine finish lipstick. It's lightweight, it is very balm-like, there's a noticeable slip, but it doesn't slide around much at all. You would expect that it would, it does not. It is so perfect for your favorite nude lip liner, and it's one of my favorite packaging components of all time. It's just so beautiful. I love putting this over different lip liners, anything that looks like your lips but better. Today I'm wearing it without any lip liner on. You can see it's just light, lovely pink. You definitely can wear it without a lip liner. I personally like to put a lip liner under it, but it's just, I mean, so beautiful. And it has this lovely, like almost fruity fragrancy scent that is just so nice. This is such a good summer shade, especially. Next up, we have the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Flush Punch. This comes in at $6. It is a pinky beige with a creamy natural satin finish. I love the Color Sensational formula from Maybelline. They make it in three different finishes, a matte, a high shine, and this one that they call a cream finish, which is like a satin finish. I like the cream finish the best, but the high shine finishes are also worth a look. They're really beautiful. Next up from Chanel, we have the Rouge Coco Lipstick in Cecile. This is $38. A muted rosy pink with warm undertones and a soft frosted shimmer sheen finish. It's a very interesting like pearlescent finish. A little bit different than a lot of the other lipsticks in this line. This was one of several shades of this formula that I got for my mom this past Christmas, and when I saw it on her, I bought myself one. Fun fact, all the shades in the Coco Rouge line are actually named after Coco Chanel and her friends. From L'Oreal, we have the Color Riche Lipstick in the shade Saucy Mauve. Retailing for $9, it is a natural pinky mauve. So the Color Riche line, the satin finishes are supposed to smooth the lips. They leave them feeling soft and moisturized. It's actually one of my favorite drugstore lipstick formulas. This is a great shade if you're like me and you like your pinky nudes to be a little bit on the mauve side. I find those to be really flattering and look very natural on me. So this is actually one of my favorite drugstore shades. It's just so beautiful. Next up from Tom Ford, we have the Lip Color Lipstick in the shade Indian Rose. This retails for $55. Don't fall out of your chair because trust me, me, it is a well-known fact on this channel that I, I have a very deep relationship with these lipsticks. This lipstick formula is my favorite. At this point, I have over 15 shades of this formula, and this shade, Indian Rose, is the one I reach for most often. To me, it is the perfect flattering pinky nude. It's got a touch of mauve in there. It's got the most beautiful satin finish. I adore this lipstick. If I could only have one lipstick for the rest of my life, I don't know, it might be this one. I just really love this shade of lipstick so much. From Milani, we have the Color Statement Moisture Matte Lipstick in Naked. This retails for $5. It is a medium warm pink that has a comfortable matte finish. For only $5, you get one of the most comfortable matte finish lipstick formulas. This lipstick feels so comfortable, it never dries me out, and the shade is extremely comfortable. It reminds me a lot the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk shade. I think this is actually really similar, just perhaps a touch touch more muted, but if you are interested in the Pillow Talk shade but you want a drugstore option, I think this is a pretty close one. I also love that this lipstick, I feel like the finish, they call it a matte. To me, it always has looked a little bit more satin, but the one thing I do 
notice uh, I think makes it more matte like is the fact that it does make my lips look a little bit bigger matte lipsticks tend to make the lips look a little bit bigger and I noticed that with this one my lips do look a bit fuller when I wear this lipstick it is a really really great drugstore formula and super comfortable throughout the day from NARS we have the audacious lipstick in the shade Raquel I am assuming named after Raquel Welch I could be wrong but I like to think it was named after Raquel Welch. This is a pinky beige with a creamy natural satin finish. I feel like it does remind me so much of like the Raquel Welch 1970s glory. It's just such a beautiful pinky beige shade. Next we have from the brand Lawless, the Satin Luxe Classic Lipstick in Wedding Day. This retails for $28 and it is a soft pinky beige with a creamy satin finish. This formula is hydrating and marked as clean at Sephora. I adore this lipstick. This entire line from Lawless is full of different shades of quote unquote nude lipsticks so that everyone can find their perfect your lips but better shade. I found this last year when I was on again one of my numerous hunts for a perfect pinky beige nude pinky nude lipstick and it really hits the mark this is another shade that is absolutely amazing over a lip liner if you want to deepen it up a little bit i love putting this over like a mauve lip liner it's just so beautiful there are certain lipstick shades that i feel like are just perfect in lip combos and this is one of those i remember that for the longest time I was always on the hunt for lip combos, like the perfect lip liner plus lipstick, sometimes adding a gloss in there. I love this over like basically any lip liner. It just gives this beautiful pink milky beige over any lip liner I use it on top of. Next we have the Rimmel London lipstick in number eight. This is from the Kate Moss collection. This retails for $5.00. 49 cents it is a warm toned light medium mauve with a satin finish and i think one of like the first pinky nude lipsticks i ever owned i remember owning this shade i am almost positive it was this exact shade years and years ago when like all i knew about lipstick was drugstore <laughs> i grew up in the tiniest town so we did not have ultas or sephoras uh, i didn't see one of those till i got to college and i remember the kate moss collection coming out rimmel is one of the less expensive drugstore brands and so i just <laughs> i love that they have what i think is the best pinky nude lipstick at the drugstore. I really think this is the best pinky nude shade that you can get at the drugstore. It's amazing. It ends up on best of lists all the time and there's a reason. It's just an extremely flattering lipstick and you know, at $5.49, it's kind of hard to beat. The formula also very comfortable, doesn't dry me out. It feels really nice and it wears really lovely throughout the day. Number 10, we are on the home stretch. I have saved the best for last for number 11. But coming in at number 10, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips in Pillow Talk. This retails for $34. Pillow Talk is a nude pink. It, it's just, I mean, it is well known around the world. <laughs> the original Pillow Talk lipstick was in the Matte Revolution formula, but this Superstar Lips formula is my absolute favorite. It has hyaluronic acid and a shine finish. The color is so soft and just naturally flattering, especially with this cushion-like formula from Charlotte Tilbury. I much prefer this over the original Pillow Talk. It's just so easy. You can throw it on and not like spend a lot of time worrying about it. It just can be easily reapplied and I think it's just so beautiful. I never reach for the original Pillow Talk anymore because I just like this formula so much better. I think it's just so naturally flattering and soft and just lovely. And especially with wearing masks now, this formula is much easier to apply and it doesn't rub off as much on my mask for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it's because it's a lighter formula or what, but I find that, you know, I don't have to go look in a mirror to reapply this. I can just put it on not looking and I know that it looks nice and looks fine. It's not something where I have to be looking to make sure that I'm properly lining and that formula I find is very convenient for our current reality. Call me Vanessa Williams because I saved the best for last you guys. Favorite pinky nude lipstick of all time. It is the MAC Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Faux. It retails for $20 and it is a medium pink with a satin finish. 
this is my favorite lipstick ever, okay? I have no less than five of these lipsticks at all times. I refuse to run out of them. I just adore this shade. I find it to be so flattering to my color. And this to me is the truly just like the pinky nude lipstick that I judge all other pinky nude lipsticks against. You can keep Whirl, you can keep Brave, you can keep your sore lip liner. I don't want them. All I need in this world is Mac Faux. It is the best lipstick. I've been saying this since I started my channel last year. It has never changed. This is my favorite lipstick that's ever existed. I just love it. I just love it. You know, when all else fails, Mac Faux. I always have one of these in my purse, one of these in my car, which yes, it has melted more than once. Trust me, because sometimes cars get very hot in the summer. So I've learned that the hard way, but I refuse to be without this lipstick. I have one in my daughter's diaper bag. Like I just cannot go without this lipstick. I told a story one time here on the channel, on my baby shower, the day of my baby shower for my daughter a couple years ago, I realized I could not find any of these. And the only thing around was a Sephora inside of JCPenney. They didn't carry Mac. I was like Googling like crazy, trying to find a Mac faux dupe. That's actually how I found some of these lipsticks. Um, but nothing, you know, nothing compares. Sinead O'Connor, nothing compares to you, Mac Faux. You are the realist. You are the best. If you like these lipstick roundup videos, I actually did a berry one last winter, fall. So be sure to check that out. And let me know in the comments below what like roundup video would you like to see next? Like lipstick shade, a different shade of lipstick, blushes. Let me know what you wanna see in the comments below. I love videos like this because I get to share my favorite things. I hope to see you over there in that best berry lipstick video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye.